Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick video, but I thought this was really awesome and definitely worth making a video on. Now, for the longest time, we've been trying to get the arcade version of Killer Instinct and Killer Instinct 2 running on the Raspberry Pi. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the arcade version or the Ultra 64 version of Killer Instinct 1 running at full speed on a Raspberry Pi 4 overclocked to 2.3 gigahertz. Unfortunately, as making this video, I keep having Killer Instinct 2 crash, but I have seen videos on YouTube, and I'll link some in the description, of it running. Not quite at full speed, but it's getting really close. And I'm going to show you how this works, because it's actually really interesting. So what I have here is a Raspberry Pi 400. I'm overclocked to 2.3 GHz on the CPU, and I'm running Twister OS. This is the latest version of Twister OS, so I'll leave a link in the description. Basically, in order to get this up and running, we're going to be using an older emulator called U64EMU. Now what this is, is kind of a single game emulator for x86 PCs. As you can see, we have the extension .exe. Now with Twister OS, we have some deep integration with Box86 and now Wine. So basically, we're going to be working with double emulation here. We're emulating an x86 system with Wine, and then U64, or Ultra 64, is going to be emulating the game inside of that. But I gotta say, Killer Instinct 1 works really well on the Raspberry Pi 4, especially with that overclock. So if you want to get this up and running, I would recommend downloading Twister OS, flashing it to an SD card. From there, you can actually just get online and find the U64 EMU. Some of these already have everything set up for you. If not, basically you're just going to kind of set it up like you would with MAME running Killer Instinct. And if you want to try Killer Instinct 2, you can. Inside of here, got all the files I need to get this up and running with both of these games. But like I mentioned, I'm having issues with Killer Instinct 2. I will leave a few links in the description to different videos showing it running on a Raspberry Pi 4. Okay, so basically the way this works is you can actually run it in Wine Desktop or we can launch this as a Wine application. And that's what I'm gonna be doing here. It does take a second to boot up, so I'll go ahead and choose Launch as a Wine application. Alright, so now that we got Ultra 64 up and running, I'm going to go to the Emulation tab here, Video Settings. I'll go to Full Screen, and I'm going to change this to 1024 by 768. So that's all I need to change here. If you want to add scan lines, you can. It shouldn't affect performance on the Pi 4. Choose OK. And the last thing we need to do here... Oh, before you do that, make sure you set up your controller and input settings. I'm using a wireless Apex Digi controller, and I've just set it up under inputs. So it's time to start up Killer Instinct 1. We'll just choose Start here. It goes full screen for me. Fight ready. But here it is, Killer Instinct 1, the arcade version. This is the Ultra 64 version that was in the arcades that you run with MAME. Is running at full speed on a Raspberry Pi 4. Now given this is the Raspberry Pi 400 and I am overclocked to 2.3, but I'm sure this would work on a Raspberry Pi 4 overclocked to 2.1. But I already had my Pi 400 set up with Twister OS, so I figured I'd go ahead and use it. But yeah, I mean, this is running really well for the arcade version of Killer Instinct on an ARM single board computer and I'm getting it handed to me right now. I didn't go in and set any of the dip switches or anything like that. Within the emulator itself, there are a few options, and while you're playing a game, if you press, you wanna say F11 or F12, you can get into the settings to turn blood off and things like that. He straight up destroyed me, so what I'm gonna do is choose one of my cheaper characters, and hopefully I can get past this first guy. And the cheaper character I'm talking about is Cinder. So we'll go with him, and I think I'm going to be facing off against myself. Now, to tell you the truth, back in the day, when it came to Killer Instinct, Mortal Kombat, or Street Fighter, I always went to the Street Fighter-style games. This wasn't something that I always wanted to play in the arcade. But I did pump a bunch of coins into the Killer Instinct 2 machine, and it was just always set on the highest difficulty. It was really hard when I was younger. And even right now, I'm not doing too good with this one fully playable on the Raspberry Pi 4, and I do want to give a big shout out to Pi Labs for actually bringing this to my attention. This is playable on the Pi 4 and the RK3399 boards, like the Rock Pi 4B or the 4C. They do have a build of Twister OS available for that board also, and it works really, really well. They've done a bunch of tweaks to that system, and they've got that RK3399 really pushing out some power. 
But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick video on this because I know a lot of people have been wanting to get the arcade versions of Killer Instinct running on the Raspberry Pi 4. And now we have it with this U64 EMU and Wine. If you're interested in seeing Killer Instinct 1 and 2 running on the RK3399 board, so I will leave a link to Pi Lab's YouTube channel. And there's another channel that I'm going to link to in the description. He goes by the name Chris Lab. In his videos, he's actually got Killer Instinct 2 running really well on the Raspberry Pi 4 using a different version of 64 EMU. And he's also managed to get it integrated into RetroPie, and I think it's all within Twister OS, but you definitely need to check that out. Hopefully he releases a tutorial showing us how he got it set up in RetroPie and some of the little tweaks he uses to get Killer Instinct 2 running better on the Raspberry Pi 4. But that's it for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.